Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer. Today, we're joined with Jonathan, the CEO from Local Measure. Jonathan, thanks so much for joining us today. Can you start by telling our audience a little bit about what Local Measure does? Hello, thanks for having me. Uh, I am a Sydney-based entrepreneur, obviously built on AWS. Local Measure is a customer conversations platform. Our uh, ship product is a product called Engage for Amazon Connect, and it does what it says. It helps you engage with your customers at scale. It's a single pane of glass that helps kind of orchestrate all customer conversations. So Omni Channel, voice chat, but also WeChat, WhatsApp, Twitter, uh, Instagram, SMS, all of the channels, all routed natively through Amazon Connect, all in a single pane of glass. And so kind of unlike um, maybe a systems integrator that pulls together four or five different solutions, we're a solution off the shelf. It's something you can buy, not have to build, and you can get really quick time to value. You can just get started sort of straight away. Wow, it's so cool to speak to an Aussie startup, but one that's actually got a global team and global ambitions. And what I want to know, Jonathan, is how have you managed to scale local measure to a global business? So I got my first grey hairs and those um, came over the last year during COVID, trying to run a global business. Um, we have great people on the ground overseas. So again, we're a little bit unusual, both as an AWS partner, um, also as like a startup that we have folks in Singapore, obviously Sydney, uh, Spain, the Nordics, the Netherlands, and obviously in the US. So we have true global coverage, 24 seven support. Um, how have we managed to scale? Lots of plane trips, lots of coffees, lots of waking up at 3 a.m. and pretending it's the middle of the day if you're on a pitch to the CEO of a large company in Europe um, and kind of all the hustle that you expect from a normal startup. Um, and then a really great team culture that kind of keeps 45 people globally cohesive as a single unit. Um, great marketing team that gets the brand out there. But mostly it's, it's the folks on the ground and the partners we have in each region that help us scale globally. Yeah, awesome. I mean, you're doing pretty well if you just got one grey hair. You mentioned you've got a 12 year old, so I'm doing the maths and I think you're doing pretty well. I might well. be lying. I've got a few grey hairs. <laughs> I just sort of only show you my best side. <laughs> Jonathan, you recently helped our media launch an Amazon Connect service in a matter of weeks. That's pretty impressive. So can you share with our viewers how you managed to do this and what business outcomes have you seen as a result? So I'll take a step back. So Amazon Connect is an AWS service um, that provides telephony or chat via APIs. It connects to things like Lex and AI and ML, all the things that AWS is really good at. But what it isn't is a finished product. It's a set of services that people can kind of stitch together to orchestrate customer experiences. What we've built in Engage is a finished product that leverages some of those Lego blocks that uh, connect, but create a full kind of customer service solution that a customer can buy and just use. And so the customer you mentioned is a customer called Media. Um, they were formerly known as Bauer Media. They publish brands like Marie Claire, like Elle, like Home Beautiful, um, all, all the things that are on my coffee table, thanks to my wife at home. Um, and they have, you know, 40 plus publications. When COVID hit last year, they have agents in three countries taking calls for subscriptions or just customer service. Um, and clearly they weren't able to get to the office. And like many organizations are trying to figure out how do they manage customer service when you've got agents at home. So they approached Leisure and AWS to stand up a cloud solution so their agent could log into Local Measure at home take calls, take emails, take social messages to kind of deliver consistent service, but also a service that could scale up and scale down. Um, and they had some really impressive um, outcomes from that. They saw that it was 75% quicker to train new agents because intelligence is baked in. So the platform is suggesting articles, telling the agent what to do, just giving them kind of the, the call or the chat to deal with. The implementation costs were 40% lower than what they'd seen versus competitors to local measure and to connect, which is pretty cool. But probably the most exciting was they bought 14 new publications, 14 new magazines during COVID. And so scaled up really quickly. And we could just seamlessly scale up to help them manage additional chats, um, additional messages and additional phone calls. So that's the beauty of Engage and the beauty of AWS, right? Like when times are busy, you scale up. And when they're not busy, you scale back down. You know, the traditional version, which is kind of what, our media we're using is an on-premise solution. It's expensive. It's always on. It sits in the basement. You have people fiddling with screwdrivers. You know, with a company like Local Measure, a startup, we deliver mass and like that ability to kind of only pay for what you use. 
consumption-based pricing, like really quick to get going. It's so amazing to hear about the groundbreaking results that Amazon Connect has had for your customers. So thanks so much for sharing. And Jonathan, your product is available on, on Amazon Marketplace. So can you explain why you chose to sell through that platform? I mean, look, I think the first thing I'm going to say and to repeat again is we're a startup. We're like a technology company at core. We're not a systems integrator. You know, we're not stitching together third party systems. We're like builders. We're product people. You, know, you can see that in the, the beautiful user experience we do with agents. Because our whole motto is if you deliver a great agent experience, you're giving them the tools to deliver a great customer experience. And I think that's why we're really different. So we were then kind of thinking, how do we scale globally? And it was the question you asked earlier, like how did the little old Australian startup scale globally? And the answer is it's really tough, like to know local tax laws, to try and pro have customers procure from you locally, to try and go through legal teams. It's expensive, it's slow, it's really difficult. So we had some of the AWS folks pitch us marketplace as like a solution kind of for all of those things. So you can sell SaaS anywhere in the world. You can speak to, you know, hundreds of thousands of AWS customers. And it worked really well. It meant that procurement was simply a single click. There are standard terms on marketplace. So everyone kind of agrees to those terms and you don't have to negotiate over and over. And it means kind of procurement teams are happy because they kind of understand AWS. They have agreements in place AWS. And the best thing is then our charges hit their AWS bill. So as I said, we're all consumption-based with local measure. So you, you pay for what you use and we can meter all that usage on AWS. Um, and because we're an ISV Accelerate, which is like a, a high tier of partner of AWS, there's some additional discounts for us as well in Marketplace. So kind of all in all, it's a really great way to scale globally. We just signed a bank in ASEAN and from the moment they spoke to us until, sorry, the moment we issued the order until they procured was like about 48 hours. So if you think like doing a deal normally with a bank, I would have had way more gray hairs and that would have been months and months and months because they know AWS, they trust AWS, they know the terms and, ter the terms and conditions. They're able to click subscribe and buy, you know, within, within two days, which is, which is super cool. That's so amazing. I mean, yeah, I'm an ex-lawyer. So 48 hours signing <laughs> really well. You should have more gray hairs. Um, we don't like dealing with lawyers when we're trying to sell software because they just get in the way. No offense. None taken. That's why I moved to tech. Jonathan, I've heard really great things about local measures bias for action. So this is actually one of our leadership principles and something that's so important here at AWS. So can you tell me a little bit about local measures bias for action and how it's helped local measure thrive over the last year, particularly? So, I mean, we, we really have a unique culture. I mean, obviously every organization says that, but we set out about three years ago to figure out like, what, how do we codify our team culture? And so we kind of surveyed the whole organization and we had people from all different levels contribute to workshops and we kind of distilled our beliefs and our principles down to like eight core values, things like do the right thing, like no matter what, do the right thing for the customer. And I think a number of our cultural values kind of align to what I understand AWS's are, including yours is bias for action. Um, we call it punch above, like getting stuff done, thinking like a customer, being obsessed about the end outcome and just moving really fast. And so I think what, what that manifests itself in is when customers ask, ask us something, we lean in, we do it fast, we don't procrastinate, they're not waiting for months to have an answer from us. And equal, equally when an AWS sales leader comes to us and says, hey, my customer's got a problem, can you help? We respond to them really quickly and if we can lean in and we can support them, we do. So to give you an example, just this week alone, we're helping on a bank opportunity in Canada. We're helping AWS in South America. Uh, we're helping in Germany. We're helping on an opportunity in the UK, in the Nordics, uh, on a bank opportunity and a telco in Singapore. And I think that's as a result of the trust and as a result of the AWS sales team and customers seeing how quickly we move and the fact that we solve difficult problems really quickly. Wow. I mean, that's incredible. The, the global reach that you guys have just from a little st Aussie startup is quite phenomenal. Jonathan, it's been such a pleasure speaking with you today. Thank you so much for coming on the show. And if any of our audience have any questions, please pop them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Thanks so much. And it and if they want to hear more, head over to Marcus and search local measure and you can check out our listing, case studies, pricing. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jonathan. Bye.